Hello again and welcome to me and my golf TV, helping you take charge of your game. You've joined us here at the Asprey. And today we're talking about the position of the lead foot at impact. And you never know, we might get 20 more yards for you. Okay guys, happy Monday. Hope you had a fantastic weekend and managed to get some golfing. I think yes. uh, winter's sort of edging away now, so hopefully people are getting on the golf course a little ten bit more. 10 days of warm weather. We've apparently. got 10 days of sun coming up. It's going to be the driest March for a long time, having had the wettest winter time, for a long time. time. So we're looking forward to some sun and some dry ground, please. Okay, so today we've got a uh, YouTube comment from Stanley Ross. And Stanley has asked, um, should the lead foot be square on when you strike the golf ball? So, Andy, should the lead foot be square on when you strike the golf ball? Uh, I would say no. Okay, so yeah, the not left recommended. foot we would say would, be not, would not be recommended. We see that a lot of guys or a lot of people ask this question, yeah. where should that foot be? But generally, we like to see that left foot flared out slightly. There's certain reasons we'll go into today why that happens, okay. really. Do you want to take your set at first yeah. and then we'll let's show, what, uh, show the viewers what we're on about, what Stanley's on about. Okay, so Stanley's asking here about this, this my left foot, the lead foot. Should it be square on at impact or should it be turned out? And a lot of you guys at home, when you hit the shot, we often see that that left foot spins sometimes and sort of moves out, out the way, which some people actually try, even top try golfers. and limit it. Yeah, they even top golfers more. do this, yeah. Okay, that's moving, that shouldn't happen, but actually not, it's not a bad thing. It's moving for a reason. That's because we're trying to clear the lower body out of the way. So... Um, Stanley, we like to see that the lead foot is flared out somewhat. Again, this varies depending on someone's flexibility. Yeah. You know, this lead hip that you have here is really important to be able to clear that um, lower body out of the way. And if you've got a tight left hip, then we would encourage slightly more. Again, this is something you maybe can get checked with a physio or you know your local fitness professional. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. So do that again for me, Andy. So yeah. So if that foot is flared out, Stanley, it's going to allow this hip to rotate and clear through because the ankle is a very flexible joint, the knee's a stable joint, and we have a flexible or a, a, a mobile, should we say, hip, left hip. So if your foot is flared out, it's going to encourage the ankle to rotate and the hip to rotate. Now, if, we have, if we're encouraged to rotate, generally that means more distance. If you focus really hard on having that square foot and hitting against the firm left side with that foot square, you may inhibit the amount of rotation you get, especially if like Andy said, you're limited in mobility, which unfortunately the majority of us are these days. So you, you will generally find you'll lose a little bit of distance. So by flaring that foot out, yes, we can encourage that rotation, get better sequencing and get 20 yards. And if there's Maybe. one thing we see with amateur golfers, with the guys that we coach at Impact, we see that they are very square on with the, with the lower body and the shoulders. So let's encourage this, flare, this flared out lead foot and create this rotation with the lower body which we see all the best guys in the world the better these this lower body works generally the better the golf swing is yeah, yeah I, i've always had this image for a long time we've seen lots of top coaches over the years uh, but ben hogan for me was the best he, in his modern fundamentals he would have a, an image of his his right foot actually at 90 degrees to his target line square on and his lead foot flared out so definitely like the left foot um flared out the trail foot, the right foot, square on. I'm not so sure with that. I think if you're very flexible and you're a top golfer, maybe yes. But if, if you, I would generally want that flared out a little bit. Yeah, well. and, and if, you, if you look at Ben Hogan, you look at how active and, and good his lower body yeah. worked, that left, foot, that left foot certainly helped him rotate through the golf ball. And uh, if, there's, if there's someone good to, yeah. to copy, then it's Ben He's Hogan. He's not bad. Definitely. He's not bad, is he? Definitely. Okay, Andy, so you've got a couple of golf balls yeah. there. Shall we do an experiment? Yeah, let's have let's a go. Let's see if we can get you hitting one with the square foot and one with the flared out foot. And we'll get some feedback from you on how, you, how this felt. Yeah, and this again is something I know that I am slightly limited in my rotation of my lead hip. So this is something actually that will help me to clear my lower body through the golf ball better. By having so, that flat foot flared out, yeah. yeah. So let's go with one a square one first, yes? Yeah? So if I go 90 degrees. We might be picking them up off the floor in a minute. And you'll notice if you experiment with these guys at home, you'll feel, it, you'll feel a big difference between the two. Okay, so watch 90 that degrees foot. first. Watch that foot, guys. Let's see what it does. Okay. Yeah, and it didn't do too bad there. It moved a little bit, yeah. but feedback? Uh, I felt that it was a lot harder to rotate through the ball, okay. and I felt the foot wanting to move anyway. Yeah. Um, the ball was a bit of a push there, but okay. I certainly felt that this was limiting what I could do on the way through. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, let's go with another one. I know when I've done this before, I can feel it in my knee, so I definitely don't want to do this. So Not I'm going to hit it hard. Out here now, and on the way through now, it just feels so much easier to get through that golf ball. Okay, so... Big difference in that lead foot now. I'm going to rot rotate, flare it out a little bit more. 
Hey, maybe it works. <laughs> so is, so is it for a long a time? Dead straight one there, but look at the lead foot here. More rotated, felt more comfortable. Definitely felt better with the hips on the way through. Okay. And I think that's the way to go, guys. Definitely a better one as well. Yeah, I, I, I have never told. I'm sure you're the same, Andy. I've never told anyone to have a square left foot. No. I, it won't help in any shot, really. No. In, whether you know, maybe putting, <laughs> maybe putting. Yeah. That's that's about the only one where you where you don't want any rotation in the lower body. So, Stanley, I hope this clears this up for you. Um, one of the things we wanted to mention today, we've just launched our golf performance schools. So we're going to be doing these throughout the country, and hopefully later in the year we're going to be going across America to do some over there as well. Um, but we're launching it May 16th. It's Friday, May the 16th. 16th, yes. I think it is, yeah. So we've sold some uh, slots already, so if you are interested, go to the Facebook page, go to the website, have a look and see whether this would uh, interest you, meet your requirements. We'll be here at the Asprey playing 18 holes at the Asprey. Numbers are very small as well. We keep eight, eight in a group, so it's going to be very much sort of very personal. So it's going to yeah. be a good four, day. four per pro, so that's yeah. what we're looking for. Okay, guys, so look, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stanley, I hope this clears up, as I said. And don't forget, guys, post your comments down below. What do you want us to help fix in your golf game? The season's upon us. Come on, let's get you uh, kick-started. Let's get you ready for that golf season. So give us a thumbs up, guys, if you would like to. And we'll see you soon on Me and My Golf TV. Yeah, the fact that you're, at the moment, also, you're, you're starting with the, with the upper body, it's probably still a good chance that you're going to do that. So the important thing is to, to be aware of that when we start with the the lower body, we're actually going to see if we can...